I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Happy Israelite in whom there is no guile day. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we are, we're an organization that passes on the faith to the next generation. That's what we're all about. And everything we do, we're trying to pass the faith on to the next generation. If you love what we're doing, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's in every single iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Roku, iTunes, uh, Apple TV. Donate. You can donate. Link it in the description. Your tax-deductible gift keeps helps us keeping the ears of our youth filled with Jesus. Give today. We need your gift in these dark times. Today is Saint, the St. Bartholomew's Day. Uh, he's Nathaniel. I'm going to call him Nathaniel from now on because um, that's the name I like better for him. Uh, Nathaniel was an apostle introduced in, uh, one of the first apostles introduced in John 1. Remember that um, Andrew and, uh, and that Philip ran into Jesus and Andrew and Peter had, had sort of engaged Jesus and they saw that Jesus was the Christ. They believed in him. And so they went to Nathaniel and they told Nathaniel, hey, you, we've, we found the Messiah. We found the one who Moses promised, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And, and, and Nathaniel's great because Nathaniel's like, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Because like Nazareth isn't in the scriptures. It, it was pretty well known as a podunk town that nothing good ever came out of. Um, and they like come and see. And so they go and they see Jesus. And um, when Jesus sees Nathanael coming toward him, he says, behold, an Israelite in whom there is no deceit, no guile. And Nathanael's like, how do you know me? And Jesus says, look, before you, before, you, before you came here, before you knew me, I saw you under the fig tree. I know you. And, and, that's, and that's the deal. That's the Nathaniel's character. I mean, there was nothing better for an Israelite in the ancient times than a nice palm tree. It's shady. You take a little siesta under it, and life is great. Greater things than these you're going to see. Greater things than these you're going to see. Nathaniel's like, you're the son of God. You're the king of Israel. You think that's great? You're going to see even more things. Nathaniel was a witness to the resurrection both at, uh, in the upper room and at the feeding, uh, the miraculous catch of fish later in John's gospel. Bartholomew was also, um, sort of churchy history, which you always have to take with a grain of salt, but, um, churchy history has him bringing the gospel to Armenia where he preached to a king and that king believed. Now the king's brother was, uh, so sort of upset about, um, his brother's conversion to Christianity, that he had Nathaniel filleted. And never did he deny his faith. That's the thing about Nathaniel that you want. There's an Israelite with a tree, a siesta, but a preacher who believed. And, and I want you to take comfort today in Nathaniel's faith. Nathaniel could have denied, like if, if, if the answer to this is, I'm going to fillet you. I'm going to skin you alive. Um, if there were any doubts about whether or not the gospel was true, whether the resurrection was true, you can bet that Nathaniel would have been like, wait, before you start feeling my skin off my flesh, I'd like to show you where the body is. And he doesn't do that because he saw him die. He saw him raised from the dead. He saw him alive. So a blessed Israelite in who there is no guile day to you. And I think a great prayer. Let's pray it for, for St. Bartholomew's Day. Almighty God, your son Jesus chose Bartholomew to be an apostle to preach the blessed gospel. Grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught. 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.